Last month, I began a 21-day challenge to cultivate positive habits and one of my goals was to consistently prioritize self-care. I've made a conscious effort to take some time out of my week to pamper myself and take care of my body. And today, I want to share my hygiene routine, giving you a glimpse into my relaxing Sunday morning rituals. Hopefully, this will motivate and inspire you to take care of yourself. I always start with oral hygiene. After brushing my teeth, I do a little bit of tongue cleaning and I think it's TMI to show tongue cleaning on camera so I'll cut that part out. After I finish, I make it a point to follow up with some flossing. I don't wash my face at this point which would have made sense but on a full blown pamper day, things usually work in a different order. It's important to nourish and oil your hair once every week and for that I'm using Miel Rosemary and Mint Scalp Oil. I've recently started using this oil because it had amazing reviews on Amazon so let's see if this will make my hair grow a little bit faster. But anyway, I'll apply a few drops on my scalp and massage it in with my silicone brush and let it marinate for an hour or so. While the oil works its magic, let's just take care of my bushy eyebrows. I have a habit of tweezing them once a week. For the past 7 years or so, I've been doing my eyebrows myself. It saves me a lot of time and money. I just take my tweezers and get rid of all these extra hair. This usually takes me about 10 to 15 minutes and while I still have some time before I shampoo, I'm going to utilize this time to dry brush my entire body. I've been dry brushing for the past one year and personally I've seen a lot of difference. I had started noticing early signs of cellulite on my thighs and I believe dry brushing has played a role in minimizing its appearance. I'd like to thank Timu for sponsoring today's video. If you don't know what Timu is, it's an e-commerce platform offering affordably priced items across various categories. Majority of the items I'm using today are from their website starting with these refillable lotion dispenser bottles. They have waterproof labels so you you don't have to worry about getting them wet, it's like giving your bathroom a bougie upgrade. It feels as if I'm in a hotel spa. Now if you're the type to leave your razor on the tub for days on end, you might want to consider buying this razor holder hook. It sticks to your bathroom wall, keep your razor rust free and dry. I had my eyes on this color changing sunset projection lamp for quite some time now. I can use this for my video background or just as a cute night light. It's easy to use and it was so cheap, I just got it for under $10. With this 360 degree rotating cosmetic storage box, I can now organize all my skincare at one place. Plus, it looks incredibly chic. And these multi-purpose silicone brushes were on sale for a dollar. You can use them for scalp massage or washing your hair. They are very soft and gentle. Next, I got this fluffy bathrobe in baby pink shade with cat ears on the cap. Very cute and cozy. It's so fluffy and snug that I want to live in it 24-7. And of course, I can't overlook something related to clothes. This vibrant scarf is trending on Pinterest and I totally get the hype. It instantly elevates any outfit. I was hesitant to try Timo jeans but check out the fit. They are incredibly chic and much better quality than the high street $200 pairs I own. I personally like shopping at Timu as they offer free shipping and free returns up to 90 days and you can also get $5 credit for late delivery. These days Timu has a site-wide new year sale where you can get up to 90% off and to save some more money you can also click the link in my description box to get $100 coupon bundle or just search the code DKG9597. And now it's time to prepare a relaxing shower. I wash my hair twice every time I do an oil massage, one with my clarifying shampoo and then I'll go ahead with my regular Aveeno shampoo which will take care of any residue and leftover I have on my hair. This way I can go 4 to 5 days in between washes which is great because my hair tends to get oily. I absolutely love Tresme's 24 hour volume conditioner. I leave that on my hair while I exfoliate and shave. Because I suffer from strawberry legs, this scrub from M Caffeine is my favorite. It's my go to and it works wonders on my skin. Especially my legs and my arms because that's where I get the most hair growth. And this is just an example of how much hair growth I'm talking about. I'm going to use Gillette Fusion 5 Shaving Gel which is meant for ultra sensitive skin. If you have thick hair like I do, I suggest that you use men's product rather than women's. They give you the closest shave. You can 
clearly see the difference between before and after. It feels amazing. I don't really have any preference when it comes to body washes, so you can use anything that you want. And I started using an exfoliating cloth instead of using a loofah to wash my entire body because I've heard loofah stores a lot of bacteria. After every shower, I make sure to tone my entire body with glycolic acid. This no doubt minimizes the appearance of my pores and leaves my skin incredibly soft. Once it dries, I apply moisturizer to my entire body. I know it's a lot of work and that's why we call it a full-blown self-care day because girl, you deserve it. And now it's finally time to wash the face. I go in with my CeraVe foaming cleanser, I give it a good rinse and prepare my skin because I'm going to shave my entire face. I spray generous amount of rosemary water to my hair because I believe this boosts my hair growth. I've observed that my skin reacts best whenever I apply my CeraVe moisturizer before shaving my face, so I'm just going to do that. I'm not going to use any specific product for this particular step. Going in with a very light hand this time because my skin is sensitive. I just got my full face laser hair removal done for the very first time. The growth is not so bad, just removing some peach fuzz. Shaving my face usually leaves it red and overly sensitive. To calm that irritation and soothe my skin, I prepare a face mask that I love. Using turmeric, chickpea flour, yogurt, adding some milk to make it a thin paste. Be very careful with turmeric, you just need a little bit and make sure that you are not using too much to avoid staining. I leave this mask on for 10 to 15 minutes and while I do that, I'm going to watch my favorite show on Netflix. I gently remove the mask with my makeup removing sponges once it's 80% dried. For the rest of my skincare, I'm using this brightening serum recommended by my esthetician because I need to get a microneedling and PRP facial done by the end of January, so this is something that I apply twice a day. I don't want to apply too many products, so I'm just going to finish my skincare routine with my CeraVe moisturizer and take my sweet time to just let my skin absorb this. After all that, my skin definitely feels soft and plump. As much as I love this robe, it's high time that I slip into my lounge set, another gem from Timu. It's cozy, comfortable, and honestly, these sets are lazy chic way to look good when you're just chilling at home. I'm feeling hungry, so let's break my intermittent fasting and grab some breakfast while I decide what to do with my nails. I definitely need to switch up the nail polish. This shade feels a bit too dark for the season, so I'll opt for something lighter. Let's do a quick nail makeover. I'm giving my nails a break because honestly, I realized that getting my nails professionally done was making them weak and if I'm being truthful, I'm not into spending that kind of money just for my nails. For the days when I'm feeling fancy, I just opt for the press on nails without the commitment or time consuming process of a salon visit. Now that everything is done, let's create a serene atmosphere in my bedroom. Lighting up some candles and putting on my favorite show. I'm addicted to Real Housewives of Beverly Hills these days. And that's it. By the way, this is just the morning edition. Let me know if you are interested in my nighttime routine. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.